they go doing me now. I'm still a talk of the town. Running the scissors, I'm hooking them down. We turn the spots in the frowns. You can't hop out, then we clearing the yeah, she bad and she know she lit She be in the bag like chips Ain't no bag and she know she can get Whatever she like, I'm tip What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Brianna Imani And you're tuned in to another Talk of the Town interview And today we have a very special guest Let them know who we got in the building yeah, It's Armani checking in, Armand checking in Thanks yes. for having me thank Of you. course, thank you for being here So welcome that. back to New York How's your time here been um, so far? It was beautiful, just had a couple meetings uh, okay. You know, just work It was a work trip, so just got a couple things mm -hmm. knocked out I saw you went to the house party premiere. Yeah, How yep. was that? Oh, it was lit. It was fun. It was turned up. What it was, was actually crazy for real. So the movie was crazy. Yeah. What was, was it given like? Did you see the original? Yeah. Okay. Course, yeah. Was it given like original remake or was it given like straight from? Um, one thing that I liked about it mm -hmm. that um stood out to me that you know that I think was real authentic is that they didn't you know, go too much into the movie, the mm -hmm. actual house party, but that they kind of made it to where it was like, you its know, own new, movie, yeah. its own movie. You know, it had their own little cast. They had, they brought in a bunch of like, you know. Cameos. Yeah. And, and it was just, it was different and it was funny. See, I like that because I feel like right now there's a lot of like remakes to like mm -hmm. old shows right. and movies. And sometimes like we want to see original stuff. So I if it's you. a remake, I like it to be a remake. Mm -hmm. But as long as it gives a little twist to something that we haven't seen before. So that's good to know. Mm -hmm. So we're going to do something that we like to do with our guests. It's okay. going to be a rapid fire game. I'm going to okay. ask you a series of questions and you have to answer with whatever comes to your mind first. Okay. All right. Cool. All right. Let's do it. Favorite word to use. Yeah, yo. What? This is yeah. the first question. Oh, that's your word, yo. Yeah, that's my oh. word. Yeah, that's my <laughs> okay. word. Okay. Something you hate seeing on social media? Um, negative stuff. Okay. Dream vacation destination. Mm, great question. Dubai. Okay. Favorite YouTuber that's not yourself or Trey? Um, Regine Carter. Oh, okay. Shout out to Renee. <laughs> <laughs> a trend that you wish didn't exist. Um, being overly tough, gangster, the blood. You know, just the like doing too much. When you're yeah, not really just like that. doing too much of that. Yeah. Okay. Um, something that you like about New York. Um, everything. How it's authentic. Okay, yes, we are very authentic people. And artists that you listen to that people wouldn't expect? Great question. Highly. Highly? Yeah. Who's that? Put me on. Yeah, she, uh, I think she's from London. Okay, yeah, so you she, tapped into the UK scene. Yeah. R&B? Yeah, yeah, R&B. Yeah. Okay, we're going to talk about the R&B. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, dark or light liquor? Don't drink at all. You don't drink? At all. Oh, that's tea. That's interesting. At all. Like, never drank or you don't <laughs> never drink? Never in new... life. Really? No kizzy. Okay, so we also going to talk about that. Yeah. After. Okay. One sentence for your younger self. Stay focused. If you had to switch places with a movie character for a day, who would it be? Come on, man. Denzel. I say I am the young Denzel. Listen, Washington. I said a movie character, not an actor. So it can be one of Denzel's so not Denzel. roles. Oh, which okay. one? Um, what's his name on Training Day? Okay. What's his name? Lonzo. 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 Look, he know. Yeah, Shout Sersky. out to you, Lonzo. Lonzo. Okay. Um, a food that you've tried that you would never try again. Oh man. A lot. Shit. Are you picky? You picky I'm eater? picky, yeah. Okay, one thing. Um, probably pig feet. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Uh, if you had to pick a theme song for this year, what would it be? For 2023. For 2023, yeah. Uh, my new single, Holy Down. Okay, that's nice. Um, see. I feel like for your life right now, it's giving love like this by Faith Evans, for real. Because you really in your lover boy so bag. You, got your, okay. you really in your lover boy bag. Okay, okay. But, okay, that's that's nice. Um, mm -hmm. um, Best social media platform? Great question. I'm going to go with... New or old? Shit. Man, that's a great question. I got to say YouTube. It just made me a, it, 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 it did a lot for me. It has searched. <laughs> <laughs> we know. Okay. And your vision for 2023 in one word. 
um, aggressive. Okay, you applying that pressure this yeah. year. Mm-hmm. Heard you. All right, so let's get right into it. So for the people that don't know, let them know where you from. I'm from Detroit, Michigan. Okay, you're from Detroit, and you're currently in Atlanta, right? Yes, ma'am. So what point did you make that move from Detroit to Atlanta? Um, I actually went from Detroit to L.A., and then from L.A. to Houston. Oh. Then from Houston to Atlanta. Oh, so you was all around. <laughs> yeah, okay. man, you know what I'm saying? Right, Papa so- was a rolling stone. You know what I mean? <laughs> nah, nah, I'm bored. Hold on, so catch me up. So at what point did you leave Detroit? Um, Like when I was about 18. Okay. Yeah. Now, are you still tapped in with like what's going on over yeah, there? Yeah, of course. You listen mm-hmm. to Detroit artists at all? Yeah, of course. Okay, because we just had one here not too long ago, okay. um, White Rose Moxie. I don't know if you're familiar. He was here okay. before. Who are you listening to from Detroit? Um, I listen to... The homie Vez, uh, Vezo, shout out Vezo, I listen mm-hmm. to him. Um, I listen to Babyface Ray. Okay. Um, you know. We like him. We yeah, like him. I, like the, I like the whole the whole Detroit scene. Okay, like cool, it, cool, yeah. cool. All right, so you said you left Detroit and then you went to L.A. Yep. Yeah, that's How right. long were you in L.A.? I was in L.A. for like seven, eight months. You know what I mean? that, okay, that wasn't long. So what Man, made you leave long. and go to um, Houston? Okay, so you want to know? I do. Because then this is what's, where, what's this key? is why I feel like y'all got to know me. You okay. know what I'm saying? So, I went to L.A., and that's when I was doing Strictly Music. I wasn't even doing YouTube. Mm-hmm. Um, Queen and, you know, my, you know, they yeah. came down to L.A. and was like, uh, you know, oh, the YouTube, boom, boom, you know? Mm-hmm. And just prior to that, maybe about, maybe about five months before that, mm-hmm. we was like all living in the same house. Like, we was... You know what I'm saying? Struggling, right. eating off ten dollars, and they came down there with like thirty thousand dollars. Like, mm. you know, like yo, look, like we like yo, you know. So at that point, we was kind of like, nah, we don't want to do it. You know what I'm saying? We sticking with the music, but mm-hmm. you know, as we got the, you know, just looking at it, we like yo, this is a way that we can, you know, promote ourselves, um, let the people know us a little bit more, mm-hmm. um, let the world get to know our, you know, our personalities. Different things like that. So that's when we moved to Houston. Okay. Yeah. And I know Houston is like real big for like YouTubers. There are a lot of YouTubers that are based in Houston. Yeah, not yeah, now. Nah. Well, yeah, yeah, probably not at the yeah, time. Yeah, twenty seventeen it wasn't nobody. But out y'all, there. y'all y'all were trendsetters <laughs> yeah. like for a lot of things. So yeah. I guess that also was before its time. So was that around the time that like the so far gone challenge was happening and y'all were getting um, no No. Nah, okay. Uh-uh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was so far that was actually like a year after. A it year was after around. You, it, you, you can season. say, nah. It was a year before. A year before. Yeah, okay, but you okay, can okay. say so far. I feel like that did that. A lot of our things went viral, but the so far gone is. I don't. I don't. I don't know. I think that was. The, I don't know. I that, only that say that because that was that was one of your first YouTube videos. So I'm yeah, not saying. Right. Yeah, you're I'm right. not saying that's like what put y'all on because we know y'all was vine. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> y'all, y'all yeah, was no, no. Vine. But I'm trying to think was that one because that did do great for mm-hmm, us. So I'm just trying to think like because after that is like. I'm feeling like, you know, I was, y'all was doing like, a lot of your yeah. mashups and then y'all exactly. started making your original songs after that. But that exactly. was like one of the first things that y'all posted yeah. on your YouTube. You're right. So, okay. That's crazy. You, she did some digging for that. You know how we do it, Talk to this Town. Yeah, for sure. All right. So, like I said, y'all had Vine in the chokehold. Mm-hmm. We all know your little mashups that y'all <laughs> was putting together. Yeah. Y'all was doing the thing. So, walk me through that. Like, how did y'all just start... How did y'all take two decide mm-hmm. to start doing those mashups and putting those together? Um, we just was, you know, figuring out ways to, you know, promote ourselves. We mm-hmm. was doing it to get to a point to where we can release original music and just get that eye mm-hmm. that, you know, just that that viewermanship. Mm-hmm. But um, you know, we honestly My brother Trey was like, uh, you know, let's do this, uh, you know, let's do this song. Like, mm-hmm. and then I think we should kind of like do it on this beat, mm. you know. So um, that's the Kiss It Better mashup. And I was like, okay, cool. So if we do it on the beat, then, you know, you might as well do different songs. Mm-hmm. Like, you get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And kind of like mash it up. So that's where we got the mashup. And that was fire because I hadn't really heard of mashups like that. There's a New York artist and his name is Dion Young. And Mm -hmm. he had a song called um, Just Another Love Song. And he put together like a few different like R&B songs. And that was like Mm -hmm. the first taste that I had of like a mashup. Mm -hmm. But y'all like was really like doing it consistently. Different songs, putting together. The creativity was really through the roof with that one. So I got to give you your big (laughs) one because y'all did that. that. So how did that come about? 
out though because I read that y'all started off like singing in church. So yeah, yeah. how did you evolve to becoming more of like a secular artist and making more like R and B music from singing in church? Um, I never, I never really made church music. You know what I'm saying? Right. I just feel like um, church was where. You know, the seed was kind of planted to where, you know, they'd be like, yo, come up here and sing. Like, and you'd be I like, mean, yo, let I them use you if you, you got exactly the voice. Exactly, like, that's exactly <laughs> that's what they used to say. So, um, I just feel like that's where the seed was at. But, you know, um, always R&B is what we love. Mm -hmm. We used to sing mm -hmm. R&B. So, that's just where okay. our music taste was at. Okay, so, of course, I'm asking you that because that's where you started. That's where your roots were from. But now mm -hmm. we have you here as a solo artist. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to you for, yeah. you know, doing your thing. Mm -hmm. Two songs charting. That's crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. And we're going to get into that in a little bit. But, like, when you reflect on, like, where you've come from those Vine days mm -hmm. and even, like, the church days, what are your, like, first thoughts when you think about that? Um, Man. Right now, I haven't really, like, I'm so, like, focused. But mm -hmm. now that I'm kind of, like, thinking now, is like, yo, it was, it went from that, like, you know, yeah. in the room, um, trying to figure it out. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Mom's like, yo, it's about time y'all to get some job. But like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The videos ain't bringing in no money, you know. But, uh -huh. you know, of course, our mom always just kept with us and let us do that. But. Just thinking is like I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have thought you know I always knew but you know like doing but doing this like so long is like you could you know like it get blurry sometimes you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying mm -hmm. and I was in one of them blurry spaces so it was you know what I'm saying I feel blessed to be here and, right you know what I'm saying music is moving mm -hmm. so were there times though throughout your career that you felt like discouraged or you didn't know, like, what the future was going to hold for you? Yeah. And how did you get over those feelings? Um, Man, yeah, I felt I felt discouraged, of course. I felt like, and you know I can really say that because I was one of the people that was like, you know, I've been through a lot, but I always told myself, like, you know, I can't, I always felt like I couldn't feel that way because mm -hmm. I'm like, how if I didn't got through so much? Mm -hmm. But it's like when I really take a step back and think is like, yeah, I had them. I had that moment, and it was, you know, it was like last year, like in the, you know, probably like it was last year, like the beginning of last year. I was just feeling like, you know, like I don't know, to be honest with you, like because I'm not even, I can't really describe, you know, because I was, I knew I wasn't that type of person, but I don't know. I was in the bed, you know, like my people would text me, like the studio. I wouldn't want to yeah, go to the studio, home. like. And I never, I, I was never that person, though. You get mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like it was, uh, like, slipping into, like, a depression type of thing? Was <laughs> it just, like, no, I'm being so yeah, serious. I yeah, think mental nah. health is so important. And sometimes we don't know, like, what those warning signs yeah. mean. Like, it, to you, it may be, like, I'm just in the bed and I don't feel mm -hmm. like going out. But there may be, like, a bigger yeah. reason to why you feel like you're in the bed and you don't feel like going out. Yeah. I No, I chuckled because, like, I just... I just, you know, what I'm saying? as me just growing as a man, you know, I used to tell myself just stuff that I felt like just wasn't, you know, what I'm saying I just like when you said the depression thing, I honestly felt like, yeah, I always was like, you know, I didn't been through so much and I'm where I'm at. I'm like, yo, I don't you know, I had a, a million things to be depressed about. I'm like, mm -hmm. I don't feel like I can get depressed. Like mm -hmm. I was I would really tell myself that, you know, and that will like help me out. But. I don't know, man. Like, you know what yeah. that 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 is? You gaslighting yourself into thinking that mm -hmm. it's not depression, and also leading to suppressing it. Mm -hmm. And but I am glad to see you on this side where you're mm -hmm. able to identify and reflect on that, and you're in a much better place. Yeah. I'm, I'm assuming. Yeah, yeah. It it was just more so like, say, if me and you was talking about depression, mm -hmm. and it's like I'm kind of like trying to tell you, mm -hmm. you know, what I'm saying, and then after I'm thinking to myself, like, you know what. You know, how can you feel depressed if like you, you know, it's just that's how I would think mm. until I went through it. And it's like, you know, no matter what you got or what's going on, like it's mentally, you know, yeah. what I'm saying mentally I wasn't there, but I never felt that way until, you, you know, I went on through it. Yeah. Oh, OK, until you went I went through, through it. it. Yeah. Okay. And it was. 
Okay, well, I'm happy to see you on the other side. Yeah, feeling good. Sure. Very glad to hear that. So let's hop into these no singles that you just dropped. Yes, man. Okay, so we got an hour past midnight. We got holding yeah. down, both charting, doing mm-hmm. big things. Armand, mm-hmm. what was the inspiration behind an hour past midnight? What like the title? Where, where, where did the title come from? Um, that's crazy because uh that's crazy because I always like I, w- I want to make my titles, like, of my song something, you know. Like okay. I do, but that actually came from, I woke up, like, in the middle of the night. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is no cliche shit. Like, <laughs> excuse me. Like, I woke up in the middle of the night. And, um, you know, my man had sent me the beat. He was, uh, you know, gave me a little reference. But I just felt like, I'm like, yo. I need to write this song. I got another one of my songs that kind of happened like that, but it wasn't mm. an hour past midnight. Mm-hmm. This song came an hour past midnight and like it happened. So, you know, I was writing it, mm-hmm. you know, like so easily. So I just named it hour past midnight. Cause that was okay. a moment. Okay. Uh, yeah. Cause I was thinking to myself, like, I was listening to the song mm-hmm. and waiting for you to say hour past midnight somewhere right. in the song. And once you didn't, I said, okay, what's the significance of an hour past midnight versus 1 a.m.? Yeah. And I, and yeah. I, and yeah. And I, and I, I wanted to hear it from you to know mm-hmm. what the significance of it was, but it sounds like it was a moment in time. That you yeah, just exactly. It was definitely a moment in time. And I just felt like that was, you know, I kind of woke up. Mm-hmm. And, and it's been doing really well. Yes, ma'am. I wish it was a little longer, not going to huh. lie. Because it really gives that <laughs> R&B feel. And the same for Hold It Down. Like, you be teasing us. The snippet, it, it gives snippet. It gives Vine. <laughs> no, <laughs> like, I'm just, it, you know. It's real, real short. But I think that's also the time that we're in right now. Like, songs are generally a lot shorter than what we're used to them being. I'm yeah, an R&B I'm, I'm, I'm going to make it. I'm going to make them. I'm going to make them longer. Okay. I'm going to make them longer for y'all. I just, you know, I feel like. I don't know. I I get in what I gotta say. Get up out of there. I know it's probably like I know you can say some more. Like you know, so I'm gonna say some more. I mean, and you give the people to look for, give yeah. the people something to look forward to. So I guess it works in that you get regard. It? Too. Yeah, of course. So yeah. now hold it down. Mm-hmm. I know that you had your muse. You had yeah. your inspiration behind that song. Talk to us a little bit about your um creative process through mm-hmm. writing that song and coming up with the visuals too, because those right. fire. Um. So. Writing the song, uh, like I told everybody, you know, it was like I was I was I had a couple beats, but I didn't really have the beat that I was like, you know, I want to that's going to be my single. Mm -hmm. So um, my producer like hit me up and was like, yo, bro, I got the beat. So I answered the phone. I'm like, yo, what? The producer really be coming through with Man, the beats. Man, like, he like, <laughs> yeah, Shout out to your real, producer. D2. Shout out D2, man. He came through, like, <laughs> he say, he say, yo, like, he like, bro, I got the beat. I'm like, what you mean the beat? I'm, You know what I'm saying? I'm like, what? He like, no, I got the beat, bro. Like, mm-hmm. this the single, bro. Like, I know it's the single. I got the beat. So I'm like, bet. He played it. I'm like, hold on. I'm like, send it to me. Mm-hmm. Like the reason why I like music so much because once I love the music, once I like the music, the production of it, then the words just flow. Okay, you know what I'm saying. So it's kind of like everything I wanted to say, I said it. I'm gonna hold you down, just you know, my play away. That's like my peace song. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So now the visuals, right? Of course, we know our girl Miss Carter Regine yeah. was in the video. Mm-hmm. That was real nice. Y'all was really <laughs> giving like relationship back. I loved it. How did you come Thank up you. with the visuals? Um, just really diving into me and her. You know okay. what I'm saying? Um, our relationship. You know, just mm-hmm. different um scenes of me and her just doing us, and then just showing that other side you know the luxury side for the music video but Mm -hmm. also just capturing the moments that i feel like um people don't see a lot because you know we kind of just we kind of limit what we show on the youtube but Mm -hmm. i kind of want the video just to be organic you know just show a lot of love um like we do so we were just being ourselves in the the video and i kind of told the director like you know i don't want to make it super productioned out 
but just more of a feeling, you know. It definitely did give organic and original and true to like. I appreciate that. Who I, I that. would want you to to right. be outside of like the YouTube thing. Right. Like that's if I was a fly on the wall, right. that's what it gave. Okay, appreciate so that. and we gonna hop into y'all, but let me ask you too because there are two songs that you've been teasing the uh -huh. hell out of <laughs> on the socials. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> when are we getting yeah. the new songs, Armand? What's um, going on? Man, I don't know what's going on. It's like I'm not on you my, not knowing. Yeah, it's like I'm on my I'm on my wave right now, and I feel like I want to get y'all that, but it's like that my people is telling me no, and I'm like yeah, then they like no, then they like go with this song, and I'm uh -huh. now nah, let me stop playing. They I all knew, in the back, see, man. You, Look, I hope I ain't gonna play. Let me stop. I hope that y'all heard my teeth when I sucked them because I knew that was a bunch <laughs> of BS. I knew it. No, I'm what's going around. on? I caught you. Wish you well. Like you can only. So, post so many snippets before we ready so which one do you feel like should come next i'm gonna say i caught you okay um i feel like i like the two songs that you've put out already but mm -hmm. i also feel like wish you well kind of feeds into that same realm mm -hmm. i caught you gives me a little bob it okay. gives me like a okay. little up bob i okay. really I, I i like both so okay but that's the one that i would say okay i like that so I'm going to tell you this. Mm -hmm. I'm going to give y'all maybe one more. You uh -huh. know? No, don't. Don't. One, I mean, like you're dropping one more. Or are you giving us one more to choose from? To choose from. No, are oh, you all serious? All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Do not do that. See, now you playing okay. around. Because then we're going to be I waiting got, more months. Okay, yeah. So, no. Nah, we going we gonna, to... Um, we're going to see about I caught you. It is trending on TikTok. The yeah. people is wanting it, so... Um, People putting together their little snippets and yeah. edits and couple you know, videos. Okay, so so we'll see about it. You know, we'll see about it. Still no answer, but okay. We'll see about it. <laughs> okay, so how do you feel about like remixes? Do mm -hmm. you think that you would do like uh, an hour past midnight remix? I caught you remix, but you well remix whenever we get that. Um. Mm, yeah. Yeah. You what? I got somebody. I got somebody. Oh, that's T. I got somebody. See, I wasn't expecting yeah. you to say you already had somebody, but now I want to know, like, what artist would you want mm, to be mm, featured mm, on a remix? Mm. <laughs> All right. How about this? Give me five. You could throw the person that you're thinking of in there, but you don't got to say which one it is. Five artists that you would want to put on a remix. I'm a, I, I won't give you five. You can give me five and I'll see if the nah, name is. Nah, R.Y., please. I'm just going to do that. I can't give it to you now. Nah. All right, so then, but you didn't have, you don't have to tell me if you're giving it to me. You know, like just, who's artists right. that you would like to work with? Um, I would like to work with everyone. Let me close my laptop because you want to take No, me man, time. I feel like I feel like I can. I feel like, man, me just as an artist, mm -hmm. you know, and this just being my craft. I mm -hmm. feel like, you know, everyone I feel like I can get in there. And, you know, okay. I feel like everybody is. Yeah, everyone. I work with that everybody. was such a PC answer, but OK. <laughs> OK, so you want me to pinpoint it down? I, yes. <laughs> it's, it's like that's what I'm saying. I mean. I, Anybody I, work with, I work with you know so who are you listening to right now okay that's a different question <laughs> all right so i'm listening to um love bianca i'm listening to highly you know i'm listening to um you say you was tapped in oh sorry i feel like i just oh, no, no, you, okay, you was tapped on. into the uk r&b you listen to mahalia yeah. I heard. I really, really like I her. I heard. Um, yes, I Flo. heard. You listen to Flo? I, I heard of the first. No, Mahalia? I haven't heard it. Yeah, I heard I, of that. Girl, I hope if you're watching this, I'm pronouncing yes, it. Yes, I'm heard of her name. But Someone yes, told me that she's dope to she check her out. She definitely is dope. Definitely check her out. Mahalia. Okay. Um, Who else? Flo. Okay. They're a group. Okay. They're a girl group. Really, really. Fire. They, okay. Yeah, Put they us fire. on, nah. Um. UK r and I'm missing somebody that's also in my rotation, but she's not coming to mind. But this is also not about me. It's about you. So who else are you <laughs> listening to, Armand? <laughs> um, I listen to, uh, of course, um, I love Beyonce work. I love her production. I listen to a lot mm -hmm. of her, uh, you know, Still just. Still waiting for those visuals. Yeah, yeah of course. <laughs> you know, um, I'm really tapped into, like, mm, that's tough to. You are making this way more I, I, difficult. Because I got a variety. Like I, I listen to Burner Boy. 
Okay. You know, Shout I like Tim's. Mm-hmm. You know, you I listen Apple to, bees. you know, when I get into my bag, I listen to Dirk. I listen to Lil Baby. Okay. You know, so I listen to a variety, you know. Okay. Nice. Nice. Okay. So how would you say, like, have you heard the conversations about like R&B being dead? Like Diddy, yeah. he made a comment about R&B being dead. It's not yeah. like how it used to be in the 90s. Right. What do you think about that? Like, what are your thoughts on that idea? Um... I don't it does people get offended when that be said or something? Um, I think some do. Mm-hmm. I think people who um recognize themselves as R and B artists and mm-hmm. you know, they believe to be putting out the R and B that right. we used to listen to, they mm-hmm. would feel offended if somebody were to say right. it's dead and not happening. Okay. Um, um I feel like I feel like by him saying or the R and B is dead, mm-hmm. it's just that and I'm gonna give you my honest opinion about this. As you should. The reason why, first and foremost, I'm gonna give my opinion about R and B is not dead. It is still great R and B artists. It is still great people that make great R and B music. It is still great. You know, it's still great musicians out there that does R and B that's still putting out quality work. Mm-hmm. It's just about it being heard. See what I'm saying? Yeah. I feel like the reason why hip hop is thriving is because the gatekeepers or some of the gatekeepers like the Drakes or the, you know what I'm saying? Just the big names is mm-hmm. always showing love to the up and coming artists and making a way. I just feel like with R&B, it's just so like they want to be so much in competition. Like it's no, they just showing no signs of growth. Mm-hmm. So I feel like that's, that's With the R&B artists the you're saying? Yeah, of course. Really? Of course, yeah. I feel like I feel like if as an R and B artist, you know, the only how a genre can die is if it's not active. Mm. You see what I'm saying? I so just you feel like R and B is not active. It's, no, I feel like it's very much active. But the reason why they're saying it's dead is because it's not as mainstream. But if you look at most R and B artists, there are underground. Absolutely. But it's because the you know it's just no light shedded on it. Like okay. you know what I'm saying? I I feel like right now hip hop is in the places in because the people of hip hop is making it that. Mm. You got Drake, he's you know what I'm saying? He's always collabing with the up and coming artists. Okay. He's you know what I'm saying? He's doing that. He's a pioneer. Right. You know, so I feel like more pioneers just in the R and B world. So do you feel like what's missing is that like those cosigns? Like where for not, the exposure? It's not really a cosign, it's just what music is. You so know what, what do you think it'll take for that to change? Um, it's just going to have to be an R&B artist that, you know, that's like that, that'll come in. And, and that's where I feel like I want to come in. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, I listen to, like I mentioned, highly or like Lil Bianca or these people that was, you know, I feel like Lil Bianca, her song and both of them songs are going, but I was on them before. It, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So I just feel like and then I reached out to you know, highly to do something with her because mm-hmm. I love the sound. Mm-hmm. It don't matter how many followers she got or what plaque she got. I don't feel like that, mm-hmm. you know, matters. I just feel like the sound and music is what, you know, we hear. Mm-hmm. So I feel like if Damn. we move towards that. That's, that's so interesting because I feel like, like I said, I'm an R&B girl. Right. I'm a SZA, Giveon, Lit. Brent, yeah, all yeah. her. All like, all right. and I would consider them to be like mainstream R&B artists. Oh, yeah. artists. So I I think it's interesting what you're saying, but I'm also looking forward to seeing how the narrative can shift so that oh yeah, of course. up and coming R and B artists can also get their shine time too the same way that so So this what I would love. Mm-hmm. Like okay, so say if we had say if we had like a I'm thinking. Say if we had like a Maybe uh, it's different audience, but it's all R and B. Like, say if you know, maybe Gibeon and in, in another big, you know, artist went on tour, or like they, mm. you know, and it's it's the R and B artist supporting that. You know what I'm saying? Supporting acts and coming out. Okay, like, I see what you're you saying. You see what I'm saying? Them okay. type of activities keep it alive. You okay, see what I'm I see saying? what you're saying. Rather than I'm going on tour with a rapper. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? It's mm-hmm. like. How sense. can we keep it alive if, you know, we're trying to attack a hip hop audience? We're not even bringing in that R&B artist like yourself. 
Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. To come in and yeah, because I'm know, thinking I, about the R and B artists that I know that that have gone on tour recently. Mm-hmm. Like I know Two C Rod Wave Mariah mm-hmm. Scientist went on tour. I'm not sure who opened up for them, um, and I'm not sure if it was an R and B artist mm-hmm. if there was somebody that opened up. But I guess like people like those who are going on right. tour and collaborating with mm-hmm. each other. Put in somebody else mm-hmm. on to promote themselves yeah. and their music and get themselves yeah, out there. Okay, cool. So now, what made you want to go solo as an <laughs> artist? Um, nothing made me. It was kind of just like life happened, you okay. know. Um, different experience in me and my brother. Life kind of just made that adjustment, you mm-hmm. know. Um, if you listen to my brother's music, he's he's speaking the message that was happening in his life. And mm-hmm. if you listen to my music. You know, I kind of got into my life. So um, me just being 25, him being 24 now, we kind of just made that adjustment. Life kind of came in and we just had different things we want to talk about. Okay. So as somebody who is a part of a collective, what mm-hmm. do those kind of conversations sound like when you decide that you want to go? I'm not going to say two separate ways, mm-hmm. but you decide that you both want to do your own thing. Right. Is it something that you see happening in real time or is it something that you like come together like, all right, we need to talk? You know, um, Well, the good thing about that was, you know, it was kind of like my brother was going through something and right. I just feel like, you know, he had to get it out. You feel what I'm okay. saying? So. You know, even when we was creating music inside the studio, I'm like, yo, say that. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? And then it had to go into the second verse. Mm-hmm. And here, because he had to get it out. That's mm-hmm. what I mean. You okay. know, life kind of made that adjustment. It wasn't okay. like, you know, I want to do this or you want to do that. Nah, it was real life. You know, things going on and we're in the studio. He's recording. And he's like, bro, I had wrote this last night. I woke up. I wrote. I'm like, go lay, go lay it down. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Okay. All right, bro. Well, I got this for the third. That's all right. Bet. That's just that's a song. You know mm-hmm, what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, that's your story, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? I don't feel like me coming in on the. You know, you grown. We right, grown now. Right, so, right, right, right. me just coming in on the second verse, talking about something totally different. Mm-hmm. You know, I want music mean something to us. So I feel like just in these moments, mm-hmm. that's where it's at. And I think what you just said is so important because going back to what we were talking about before with the R&B is dead conversation, mm-hmm. when Diddy said it, he said that like what artists were lacking were that was that vulnerability, that experience, mm-hmm. like that feeling that we would get from right. listening to that old music. And I think what you just said with like, he has stuff that yeah. he's going through in life that he want to put on the track. Yeah. That's real shit. Yeah, that's real. That's real. So that's it's real. like, Fact. that's how you know that you're using music as an outlet and you're actually passionate about 100%. what it is that you're doing. All right. So on your Instagram, it mm-hmm. looks like you got rid of everything mm-hmm. and then like started over. Mm-hmm. Is this a rebrand that we're getting? Like, what was the reasoning <laughs> behind clearing out your Instagram? Um, yeah, of course. Um, like I told you, I'm just my my whole word is just aggressive. Like I just had to clear it out. You know, I started new, started clean. Mm-hmm. You know, um, my music is first and foremost. It was never, you know, what I'm saying the vlogs or none of that. So just being more aggressive with my career, and you know, that's kind of where that came from. Yeah. Okay, so that so that is like just. My way of like taking control, you know what I'm saying? Exactly. Like, so I know that you are independent, right? Um, is that how you choose to stay for a little while? Are you shopping around? Um, yeah, we just left a couple meetings today, yeah. Okay, so, so something um, might be cooking, yeah, yeah, yeah. They could talk the right, the right, the right things, of course. And but. what do the right things include? Like, what is it that you're like, you don't got to say specifically, oh, okay. you don't got to give us the source, <laughs> but like, what kind of things going into these About label the thing, meetings okay. do you look for um, um, when you're making a decision? Uh, just me, just being who I am, just the right terms. Mm-hmm. You know, music is like my baby, you know what I'm saying? So um, the business has got to be right. Mm-hmm. Uh, I I look at, you know, the duration of the contract, mm-hmm. um, of course, what's in it, you know, and then just me, you know, I want to say, I want to say what I want to say, but I'm trying to dress it up. It's like just me being able to stay in control. You know okay. what I'm saying? I am like, I like being in control of what I do. Control you know, creatively, like what? everything, Okay. you know, because I just feel like I didn't been through a lot with the whole situations and you know if i can get a situation that can come in and you know 
Mm -hmm. uh, just meet my standards mm -hmm. and also vice versa. Then I do that. Okay. And I know that you were previously signed to Warner, mm -hmm. I believe. And then you had a management deal mm -hmm. um, before as well. Are there any, are there any things that you take from that, those experiences that you're bringing into like signing with another right. label? Like, are there things that you've learned that yeah, like the last, like what I was saying. Okay, what you were saying. You know All right, I, mean? I don't want you to like, repeat yeah. yourself, but I no, didn't know no, if that it, was yeah, always that. something that you had been looking to or if that was something that you picked up based on your experience. Right. No, like it it just is what I picked up based on my experience, okay. like from okay. that, you know? That's valid. Okay, so now one of the big songs that has been on, I know you're doing your independent thing, mm -hmm. but of course we have to address sex story because mm -hmm. that was like taking over TikTok, yeah. that was doing this thing. Um did it get taken down from TikTok? Yeah, it did. Yep. Yeah. Mm. Why why did it get taken down on mine? Man, I don't know, man. I don't know. <laughs> I feel like um honestly, I don't know what TikTok was on. I don't know. Mm. Um I felt like when it reached like what it reached maybe 100,000 mm -hmm. videos, they like took it down. Hmm. You think it was like the content of the song? You think they was just being <laughs> like what you <laughs> No, because it was the head shake. It was the nah, head man. <laughs> uh, maybe, but you know, you got all type of songs that was out around that time that mm -hmm. was, you know, saying a couple of things. But I feel like, of course, the lyrics. But as you can see, everyone loved the song. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I, mean, I feel like it was just the feeling. It was the dance. Like, come on, man, leave us alone, man. Listen, one thing I was so shocked that you didn't put in the dance was this because Armand loved it. You going to do this <laughs> in a couple of, Like, I feel like that but that got to be one of your favorite moves because Yo, you going to do that in Yo, choreo. come on, man. I'm sorry to blow up your spot. Now we're talking about some I'm going to do my little money. Yeah, because But what you're you not going to say is jazz the do the same thing, though. Jazz has always want to do the... Jazz do do that, too. She do the same thing, And bro. I'm not saying this anything. Hey, I like that move. I'm not saying this anything wrong with it. I was just surprised that it wasn't in the dance. That's all. No, nah, I ain't put my move in there, though. But, so. you know, I, I, I would have probably about last year. <laughs> you feel me? <laughs> So, um, what are your thoughts on TikTok, though, overall? Like, you're received very well on TikTok, of course. Mm -hmm. You've been on our social media feeds for forever. How do you feel about just, like, where the platform has gone and the way that you're received on there? Um, It's crazy because I didn't really dive into TikTok. What you mean? I haven't really, like, yeah. I love TikTok, but I'm telling you, like, I literally, and that's why I love, you know, all the supporters because in the support system. Because, like, I literally get on there mm -hmm. and I'll be like, yo, I've got to put this on. Okay, I'll put this on. Like, and I used to work Vine and stuff so crazy, but I literally get on there like, damn, how you want to put the song? How you do? Okay, let me put that on it. Like, I don't really know how to work it like that. Well, what I will say is what you're not doing, your supporters are doing for you. Because the song's, the song's going to make it on there regardless. Because <laughs> whether you put them on it or not. <laughs> Um, right. so that's dope. And you said that you don't use TikTok like that. When I think about you and TikTok, I think about one video where you popped out. It was giving Chip Skylark. You was in the car. Oh, yeah. It was like the first look we saw of like this new Armand. <laughs> yeah. Um, so do you plan on like doing more like videos for people to get to know you on TikTok? Are you sticking to YouTube? Like, what do you think? Um, just like right now, you know, of course, I. I do this, but I'm not, you know, I, I don't really, I'm not really looking at, you know, doing like, I, I, damn, cause I'm about to, let me, let me fix it up. <laughs> cause I was about to get, be for real, you know, but no, nah, I'm not really, you know, um, of course I love the content and, uh -huh. you know, make it content, but, um, I'm gonna use, I'm gonna just use my TikTok. I think, I don't know if you look at my TikTok, it's a bunch of, my challenges like you know yes. what i'm saying like it is a couple of the, yeah i like tiktok let me stop playing with tiktok like that i love tiktok i'm just asking are we going to be putting more out yeah, there like can I we like expect my little more content on, yeah mm -hmm. on tiktok okay but so, what you mean by more armand on tiktok that's what i want um maybe like videos getting to know because i know that you do the youtube stuff but everybody's also not on youtube so See, that's what i'm saying i don't really know that world of tiktok like they blog on there some people do. Yeah, see, I don't even know But that. you don't have to. You could okay. go on there, use a sound. You could go on there like a day in the life. So you just utilize really TikTok more, excuse me. I think so, because you have a lot of people that like to see you. Mm -hmm. 
So I, I felt think, that way one time. I was like, let me get on TikTok a little bit more. Like, yeah. And I feel like a lot of people use TikTok as like a story, like the Instagram stories or something. You just post stuff. You a TikToker, huh? Because <laughs> hey, Instagram do, story, you post like the. And that's I do a my lot little of ones posting. and two. No, it's a lot of posting. I personally am not. Okay. Maybe one day. But in my delusion, I'm saying, I think okay. that that's, that's, that's what works. That's what the people are saying. Okay, cool. That that's what works. You use it as an Instagram story. You don't think about it too much. You just being you. <laughs> not going to lie. Sometimes okay. the videos that you just being you are the ones that pop. They, hey, TikTok is really okay because you finna make a customer out of time. Finna be right on there. You really giving, you selling it. As, She's selling as, it. As, I mean, just, Armand, like, come on, you came from Vine. Vine was literally the blueprint. So yeah. for you not to be on TikTok is really insane. Right. Like, if I'm being candid. But can saying. I be honest with you? Of please, course. Just for like maybe two minutes. Of course. It's just, I really like, I really. I love like, you know, but I'm really not like a social media type of guy. I know that's crazy, but <laughs> I'm really not like I don't be on social media. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Like if I go on TikTok, like when I do TikToks, mm -hmm. I pick up my phone. I'd be like, oh, I like this. Let me do it. Mm -hmm. And I get off. Mm -hmm. See what I'm saying? Okay. Like, you know so what I'm saying? Really I go on Instagram. I, I post my picture. I get off. Okay. You know what I'm, I'm like saying? I get on YouTube. I post my video. I get off. Like, mm hmm okay that's what i mean like i don't really be on it like mm -hmm. that because i could even see like you and regine doing like you know they have like the put a finger down and blah 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 yeah. or like who's the most likely to and yeah, then you like, like point in like i can see y'all doing stuff like that all right and yeah. tiktok <laughs> send that check because i feel like i'm selling the hell out of your platform right now anyway speaking of you and regine mm -hmm. let's really get into it right. um what I want to start this part off by saying is I think that you two have taught me something about a bias that I have towards relationships in my generation. Okay. Um, I will say that I was very skeptical about mm -hmm. y'all, if I'm being honest, because mm -hmm. I felt like, you know, you guys were posting a lot of videos together, posting a lot of pictures. And I was like, damn, like this is moving very fast. fast. But then I thought about it to myself, like. We've normalized the sneaky links, the buying gifts, Come expecting on. gifts, going on trips, basically spending a night at each other's houses Come after. On. So it's like and we ain't even do that. And and so for me to be skeptical about someone showing their love publicly just because it's publicly mm -hmm. when we be doing the stuff yeah. in private and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. It's like, why is there like a stigma behind genuine love in today's society? So I will say that you guys have made me realize that I have a bias, right. I guess. Maybe based on the lack of experience. Maybe that's, right, right. Maybe that's where it comes from. <laughs> so I do want to say that I love you guys. Love Thank the way you. that, that. Thank you, you genuinely show love for her. Mm -hmm. Your baby girl, baby girl, baby girl. Yeah, it's my baby girl. So walk me through the timeline because was the blind date really the first time that y'all met? Yeah, that was the yeah. first time we, like I met her at a BMF premiere. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe a year and a half prior but the blind date was the first time we actually like met and mm -hmm. was face to face like that yes really yeah because it was given like the yeah. connection was given the eye contact was given it was real like well I let me like, tell you so uh -huh. the reason why it was kind of like it was it was the first time but you know we was we were like friends and we were cool like you know okay uh like maybe like, that's when we kind of like, you know, like, yeah, like when, so let me say this. So it was the blind date, but people don't even know, like, the blind date is really like when I actually looked at her face to face. I was, that was my mm -hmm. first time coming over there. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't at her house prior. I didn't even see her. Oh, that's T, because I didn't even know it was at her house. Yeah, like, oh. well, that's a certain part. You okay. see what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. that's not her house, but mm -hmm. she have a, like, you know, I don't want to, you know, disclose no, my no, girlfriend yeah, locations, no, but, no, no, you know, good. that's where she does, mm -hmm. you know, her her content. Mm -hmm. Exactly. That's mm -hmm. her content house. So, um, yeah, before that, like, that was my first time actually seeing her, like, okay. see what I'm saying? Prior to the... The BMF movie premiere that I went to with my management. Okay. So, yeah. was Jazz throwing the, like, Jazz was helping you shoot your shot? Like what was you there mean? already some interest there? Because you said that y'all were friends. Mm -hmm. 
So was it like, you know, you talking to Jazz, like, oh, yeah, I think she's cute. She fire. <laughs> the body bodying, you know, like. um, Definitely. Oh, I yeah, was, okay. I was like. Shout um, out to Jazz for that. She really, she did her thing with that. Yeah, I was, uh, you know, I didn't, like, before I was, we were just real cool. Like, you know, like I said, after that, you know, she had. Like how you were saying, like, just a lot of things we did was different. You know what okay. I'm saying? Like, a lot of things we did was different. And you know what I'm saying? Like, the whole, like I told you, we wasn't even sleeping at each other's houses. Like, mm-hmm. that wasn't even a thing in our mind. Like, mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? To start out with. So, mm-hmm. um, yeah. Okay. That's crazy. Okay. So. <laughs> I'm thinking back, I'm like, yeah, like, when was this, what, June? That yeah. was what the blind date. Yeah, it was like that. I think. Well, at least when the video was posted, July. it was like five, six months ago. Yeah, July. Huh? Okay, six months ago it was like July. So when you did that too, you had said that you were like two months out of a relationship or something I was, like that at the time. Two, I was three. March, April, May, June, July. I was yeah, three, three, three. months, like okay. three and a half months. Yeah. So what was it? But okay. But let me let me let me pause you. Hold on. Mm-hmm. I was three months out of a relationship, but. I was I revisited the relationship I was in for two months that I was prior out of for a year. You see what oh, I'm saying? Okay, I see. Exactly. So y'all had like y'all was off, tried yeah, to make it work again, and exactly. then it didn't work. Yes. Okay, got you. Exactly. So it wasn't like long term. No, then you hopped right into I was another out of a relationship for a month, mm-hmm. and then for January, year, I February, I tried to work it out, and then March, I we cut it loose. You see what I'm saying? Okay. I think so. You so, were out for a month, then got back to it. I thought no, you said a year at first. No, no. I said I was with her, <laughs> back with her. You okay. see what I'm saying? So I was single for a year. You were single? Okay, 2021. Okay, okay, okay. See what I'm saying? The right, whole I'm 2021, I was single. Mm-hmm. The beginning of 2022, January, February, I... Tried to make it work. Exactly. It didn't. I broke up in March. Tried to make it work again. No. It didn't. No. Uh-oh. It wasn't. It was done. All right. The math right April, now... April, May... June, I was single. Okay. Yeah. All right. I think it's just, it's it's the heat that's getting to me. Maybe that's why it's not, the math not mathing. It's not mathing. But I'm sure that the viewers get it, and that's all that math. Yeah, it's, right it's not mathing? So, me, okay, no, so no, 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 no. You got your, it, right? No, your math is mathing. Uh-huh. I'm saying me. It's right. me. It's me, uh-huh. not you. Yeah, let me let me make it right for you. I want to know what's not mathing. Nah, you said, you said a year y'all were off. Right. Then beginning. Whole 2020. The whole 2020. 2021. 2021. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yes. Then the beginning of 2022, y'all yeah. got back together. January. Right. Oh, for the February. month. February. For the two months. Yes. Then y'all took a month off. No, we broke up. <laughs> That's where she getting it confused. Okay. All right. Yeah, it was when done we, in March. Hold on. You want to know something, Armand? Because yes. at one point, I think you said a month instead of a year. And I think that's what caught me up. Oh, okay. No, I think you were saying, I think I heard you say a month. And I'm like, nah, we wasn't oh. broken up. I think that's where you kind of confused. Got lost, we got lost I think she confused all of us. Then we I'm damn, like, I'm sorry. A I'm sorry. Month, we, nah, not a month. I was single for a year. We got lost the translation. All right. You were single yeah. for a year. My bad. For a year. And then I got back, tried to make it right with my baby mother for January, February. Mm-hmm. And we broke up in March. Right. I and was then single. you had the break and then met exactly. Regine. Yes. Cool. All yeah. right. Thank you for setting the record straight. Yeah, no problem. All right. So what was it um about Regine that made you like fall? It seems like you fell really fast. Yeah. What was it about this relationship that made it different from anything that you've experienced before? Um, like I said, it wasn't really falling fast because we were friends. You see what I'm saying? Like before we even jumped into a relationship like the blind date wasn't me saying hey be my girlfriend like we Mm -hmm. were actually friends like you know what i'm saying after it wasn't like i said it wasn't oh come spend the night or let's do this let's it wasn't that we took our time yeah we were slow-mo you know um so i'm on i when i say falling fast i don't mean like rushing into a relationship Mm -hmm. but i think it was very clear from very early oh that i liked it yes of course very, very clear oh, that there course. was something there. I feel like everybody could tell that, mm-hmm. like, 
whatever was between y'all. Yeah, that I that I it fucked was with real her. strong. Yes, ma'am. It was of real course. strong. You and could tell. and that's really what I'm asking about. Okay. Like, what was it about whether it was the connection, whether it was oh, about yeah. her in general okay. that like made that bond? Yeah, so okay, so, so what, okay, yeah, I see. Okay. So basically just the way she talked, the way she she handled herself, you know, different questions mm -hmm. that I asked her and different conversations that we have. Um, I just felt like she was um, I was kind of like you, like in a sense, like I'm like, I was kind of like, you know, no female really where I'm at, you know what I'm saying, mentally or where I'm at. So I kind of like want to take a step back and just focus on my career. But talking to her, that was like a breath of fresh air. Mm -hmm. And then to actually be almost six, seven months in of, you know what I'm saying, a relationship with her, I just feel like, like that's her. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? I'm like, mm -hmm. yo, jackpot. You know what I'm saying? Because she really... You know, it's what she told me she was. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. She real. She authentic. You know what I'm saying? She support me. She's a woman. She's a businesswoman. She's an actress. She's, you know what I'm saying? She's mm -hmm. everything that she put out there. Yeah. I love love. And I love the way that you talk about her. Yeah, that's my baby like, girl. <laughs> that is your baby girl. Like, you... Like, even in the video where um Jazz tried to prank you and say, like, she didn't think that Reginate was the one for you. Yeah. You, um, like... Like, just respected her when she wasn't even in the car. You vouched yeah. for her. Like, you really was making sure that Jazz put the respect on her name. And it was like, yeah. you either going to respect it or get lost. Yeah, and to go back to you asking me, was the pranks real? That's oh, yeah, that was one. the conversation we had off camera. Yeah, that was the conversation we had off camera. <laughs> but definitely, that was one that, you know what I'm saying... Because Jazz got different gadgets and shit that mm -hmm. she used on <laughs> YouTube. Like I told you, I got my one camera, like, and I be just, uh -huh. you know, I vlog. But Jazz got the, I don't know what she had in there. I think it was a GoPro. Okay. But I wasn't paying no attention. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay. it was, by the time she told me, and look, I'm like, yo, like, that's wild. But, you know, just, when she did play that, you know, I, it kind of caught me off guard. But it's like. You know, like I, I like I told her, and I, I can read, say what I said. It's like, I know what I want. Right. And she checked every checklist that I want. So, yeah. I love that for y'all. Thank okay, you. Okay, so you gave her a promise ring. Mm -hmm. um, what is the significance of a promise ring to you? Um, The promise ring, the significance of it was just, you know, me being a man, I feel like um, just me learning my woman and me just, you know, listening to her. I just feel like, you know, women just need that reassurance, you know. Mm -hmm. um, and like I said, I, I just wanted to let her know that that's just like my loyalty. You know, like, you know, I only see her. I only want her. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, just my gesture. That's just what I do. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's mm -hmm. just who I am. I think the promise rings are making a comeback because yeah. I don't know if you know. Um, There's an artist out here, Nas, EBK. He gave his now ex, Jada, a promise ring. And okay. that was like a really big thing. And yeah. that was the first time that I had seen someone respectfully mm -hmm. in our age group give somebody yeah. a promise ring because they haven't really been normalized mm -hmm. um, at this point. So now seeing you do it as well, it's like, okay, yeah. promise ring's making a comeback. Mm -hmm. Love the men right. committing to their women. So That's shout right. out to you for that also. Yeah. Um, so what are your thoughts on like people who make speculations about you and the way that you handle your relationship for ex you want me to give you an example yeah yeah give me an example for example like in academics mm -hmm. you know i know you've talked and talked and talked about this situation yeah. um but coming out of that you know i think that there are a lot of feelings that people may feel because like i said before this kind of love isn't really normalized in our generation mm -hmm. at least not publicly mm -hmm. um so what are your thoughts on people who make comments about you and the way that you handle your relationship so lovingly and like you're very vulnerable and open what do you think you know that? what what i don't really trip about mm -hmm. it's because honestly man like you know the the people that be talking you know it, it's it's the comments but Honestly, man, the, the the people that they look up to, mm -hmm. them the same guys that be like, yo, that's fire. Or, hey, bro, like, hey, what 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 flowers should I send my girl, bro? Mm -hmm. Like, or, hey, yo, gang, that's like, how could I? You know, you see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So when I look at it, it's like, yo, y'all trying to be, it's like, it's just, I could never even get mad about that. And then, you know, I'm, I'm just me. You know what I'm saying? I feel like that's what make me me, mm -hmm. you know, um. 
I ain't really got too much to like, you know. Okay. You know, the females, like, I, don't, I don't give a fuck about niggas. Like, you okay. see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, As you I'm say. a ladies' man. Like, you know what I'm saying? I make music for the ladies. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm not worried about a bunch of. Okay. And now, I want you to receive this question in the way that I'm asking it. Mm-hmm. Um, to what you're saying about being a ladies' man, you're making right. music for the ladies and right. all that. How does it make you feel? As somebody who's also in a relationship, right. to see somebody like academics who's like imitating you with like a flamboyant right. voice and like <laughs> trying to like lead to speculation of things right. about your sexuality that, yeah. you know, what what do you think about that? Man, he don't know me, you know, and like behind that, I just feel like, you know, when he see me, mm-hmm. you know, then he'll get a chance to know me. You know, it ain't nothing flamboyant or ain't nothing I don't know. I mean, I don't know what I don't. Man, that dude is goofy. Like, I don't know what the fuck he even. I don't know. Like, I ain't even. I don't care about. Okay. Well, academics that's aside, crazy. Yeah, that's academics aside. Do you? What do you think about the way that society expects right. for men to conduct themselves? Um, right. And I, I don't know, man. I feel like yeah. Like it was like he. It was like, like you saying it was like the way like. It is I talk to my girl He pause Like he's like, like, like what bro mm-hmm. So you think Because I talk to my girl You know what I'm saying Respectfully Respectfully like I'm I should be taking this You know lightly You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying But like I said Just to make this clear Once again Like I'ma tell the young cats Of the day The young dudes Like ain't nothing weak About loving your woman Period. Nothing weak about it You know what I'm saying You stand on your business You stand on your principle But at the end of the day A real man is gonna love his woman That's just period You're not gonna It ain't You know what I'm saying They're normalizing this shit But that's not It's not normal You feel what I'm saying Like You keep it pee You be respectful You respect your woman Period You respect the bed Period If that's not what you want You get out the situation But trying to Shed a light That someone is You know what I'm saying Gay or someone is flamboyant Because I'm not you know what I'm saying? That sound like he got like he just a little nigga to me. Like I don't even like that's just little shit. Like I don't I don't even want to talk about that. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Because that's old. I don't want to shed no more light on that. Mm-hmm. Seven months old. I don't got time. And thank you for clearing it up. And yeah. yes, it is seven months old, but this is my first time yeah, seeing yeah, you. Yeah, for sure, so for of sure. course I gotta ask yeah, you. Yeah, not about towards it. you. I get it. But that's something that you know that I feel like people is gonna talk about. And yeah. that's something I'm gonna have to say. But mm-hmm. you know, I just don't feel like you know, I said like once again, the young the young cats of the day, mm-hmm. or even the older cats. That's even that ain't that ain't what it is. You know, be mm-hmm. respectful to your woman, respect your woman, and stand on business. Period. I wish you were holding your mic so you could drop it because that was really yeah. Nice. I would have dropped it. <laughs> I would have dropped it for you, saying you know, because that's real shit. So, how have your supporters um, been receiving your relationship? Like how how would you say that they've been reacting to you and Virginia being together? Um, man, they've been reacting. They they love her. They love what we got. They love mm-hmm. you know how we did it. Um, they just love you know what I didn't grew to. I feel like they watched me um go do different things in the past. You know I don't know if you know, but just oh, a yeah, couple things yeah on mm-hmm. the internet and um just to see this you know happening for me and me actually. You know, I'm really in love with this girl. You know what I'm saying? Like, I really I like, that. I can say that, you know? Mm-hmm. So I feel like they they love it, you know? Yeah. And you know what? I think that that is big because the supporters don't be playing around. Yeah. Like, you brought up jazz a couple of times. And I'm going to bring up jazz now because okay. they will not let go of Tay. They <laughs> will not let go of Tay. All in the comments. Like, it don't matter how many videos Jazz posts for Crystal. Right. They still asking for it. And I love Jazz and Tay mm-hmm. down. But I respect her relationship with Crystal as well. And yeah, I course. feel like a lot of people, as they watch you grow with somebody and they get yeah. to know you as a couple with somebody, I guess they want to hold on to that. Mm-hmm. But I think that it says a lot that you're able to start with somebody new and mm-hmm. they're being so receptive to seeing you together. I think that, yeah. that says a lot. Yeah, Because I don't see no mention of your ex in none yeah. of the comments. Yeah, man. Um, but speaking of, um, how did you approach the relationship um, being fresh out the relationship with Re- Regina, excuse me, mm-hmm. being fresh out of one with the mother of your child. Are there certain like protocols, um, certain things that you have to do to like 
make sure everything's good? Like, how did you address that? Um. Yeah, I just, I just took my time. You know, okay. um, just didn't want to make the same mistakes over again. You know what I'm saying? Didn't want to move too fast. Mm-hmm. You know, didn't want to. Just do too much, so I really took my time. Okay. Got to know her, got to know the do's, the don'ts, what she like, what she don't like. You know, what make her mad, what don't. Okay. I think I wasn't clear, but mm-hmm. so I'll give you an example, okay. personally. Like, me, my, one of my non-negotiables for a long time has been, like, I don't want to date a man with kids. It's kind of changed now that I'm getting okay. older, but more than just because of the kids, it's been because of the uncertainty with the relationship between him and his, the mother of his child. Okay. So going into a relationship, I know that that was something that Regine asked you from the blind date. Like, what mm-hmm. is the situation between right. you and the mother of your child? Um, so that's really what I was asking. Like, are there certain things that you had to make sure were clear or were there like, are there certain protocols towards like being in a new relationship after being fresh out of one? Which, oh, you, are okay. you following yeah, what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I just want to make I sure I get I'm what not you're really... saying. Yeah, yeah, of okay. course. They're saying basically like, like, yeah, yeah. How do you? I... Yeah. Right. While in while trying to manage a new mm-hmm. relationship as well. Um. Thank you. Just, just respect. You know. Um. Honestly, you know, I really don't have to make that call unless I'm talking to my daughter. So, okay. you know, just made that clear. Mm-hmm. Um, she don't have that problem, but that is a talk that we had. And, you know, like I said, it's my daughter over there. So, of course, my girlfriend with me all the time. So mm-hmm. she see my kid and, you know, that's how we do that. And then, you know, just going to go get her, I make it to where I get my daughter. Then she come back. It's just, it's, it's, it's all right. Okay, yeah. cool. All right, that's nice. So now, how has father? Because <laughs> I won't get, I won't get too much into it. I'm saying that's good that y'all have that that set up, um, and it seems to be going smoothly from what you're right. saying. Um, so how has fatherhood been treating you overall? You seem to be a very great dad. Um, you're present. Mm-hmm. You seem to talk very highly of your daughter. Mm-hmm. How does it feel to be a dad? I feel great to be a dad. I always had like a feeling, you know, that I was gonna have a little girl. So. Mm-hmm. This is always something that I, you know, I feel like that was the type of love I had hidden to pour into my my daughter. So I just, man, my daughter's everything. Like, you know, she's coming here next week, so she's going to be with me. Aww. Yeah, it's my baby. Love that for you. Man, that's my baby. Did you, how did you grow up? What was the structure in your household growing up? No. Yeah, no. Nah. Okay, that's fine. So there was something that you um spoke about, and if you're open to talking about it, we can mm-hmm. talk about it. You tweeted something about you didn't know that men could go through postpartum depression as well. <laughs> I tweeted that. You tweeted that, yeah. I did. You did. Mm-hmm. Where? <laughs> On Twitter. What do you mean where? You tweeted you that. Sure, I was my pull, brother. I'll pull it up for you. That's on our Armani Trey page, right? Yes, you, that was Trey. You you pulled it. Oh, that was my brother. Okay. Yeah, because well, I'm me. like, I didn't say that. I stand corrected because it was also on the T page too. <laughs> yeah, but it, yeah, that but it's was my okay. brother, yeah. Um, was that something that you had experienced at all um, going into fatherhood? Um, no. No? Mm-mm. I feel like what I deal with more so just being in my head. Okay. You know about being a father and like, you know, I just, I'm really, 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 really hard on myself. Mm. Like, really. You know what I'm saying? So, like. Man, sir, like, I'd be so scared to take my daughter to a water park. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Only because it's like, like, this this all I got. You know yeah. what I'm saying? This is my baby right here. That's so, you know, her and, you know, of course, but I mean, like, that. So. So, let's talk about the YouTube for a little okay. second. Um, as somebody who's been very relevant in the YouTube mm-hmm. game and world for a long time, what would you say makes a good YouTuber? Um, Just be fun just always be a lit charismatic like just show yourself if you know that you got a personality that people will love and people can gravitate to i feel like you should display that you know what i'm saying uh stay consistent um also learn you know just be a sponge you can look at someone else's channel and you can get inspired get different ideas always learn Mm -hmm. okay and how do you know when you should take youtube when, how do you know when it's time to take YouTube seriously versus doing it for fun? Like, what is it? 
Well, being that YouTube is a, is like you have to work your way into mm -hmm. getting somewhere, mm -hmm. it's kind of bad to think that way because it's never really a right moment or not. Okay. Like, say if someone like me who didn't have a YouTube channel say, okay, I want to do YouTube again. Mm -hmm. So, okay, you could do it. Like, you should do it. But someone that's starting out, I just feel like, man, go. Like, okay. there's no... Like, no limit. Just go. Like, you know what I'm saying? Just it's, put the pressure on. Yeah, put the do pressure you on do. because you're going to have to keep on building for you to get to where you want to be. You're not going to drop one video and get a million views. Right. I mean, a million followers. You know, it's just impossible. Oh, okay. So. Okay. Yeah. And now when it comes down to the pranks, mm -hmm. what are your thoughts on the pranks? Have you tapped into the New York prankers at all? Um, no. Like the booba and then... Oh, oh, <laughs> I, 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 I be seeing one in the car. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he's funny. Yeah. You think they're funny? Like, yeah, yeah, that's funny. Okay, because there have been conversations about like how far is too far when it comes to these pranks. Um, when it comes to like mm -hmm. playing ops music and like calling them out of their name right. and roughing them up and all of that kind right. of stuff. Um, and as somebody who has been in this game for a very long time, and y'all have done the unthinkable when it, <laughs> when it has come to pranks through the years, I really want to know like what your thoughts are on that. How far is too far when it comes to a prank? <laughs> Uh, the older me says, you know, definitely, um, have a limit to it. But the younger me say, man, look, like, like everything's on the table. Yeah, man. Prank what? each other, man. Like, you know, <laughs> I mean the way, you know, I don't know how the way they doing it with the whole ops thing. We wasn't doing all that. Like mm -hmm. we wasn't even, it wasn't that oh, it yeah, was more so, now. yeah, it's different. Like we were more so like. Like, okay, we finna pop out the trunk, like, and act like you didn't kidnap me. Like, that's what the police was coming to. Our, I remember, like, our pranks was just different. Like, it was a different atmosphere. Like, you know, it was like, okay, Jazz, we, I'm finna hop in the trunk with blood on me. I'm gonna pop out at the light. Like, help me! You know what I'm saying? I done popped out. It was the police behind. I'm like, oh, my mm -hmm. God. So, they done came to the house and just different stuff like that. So, to see. But, honestly, for that, man, prank them. Like, if it's cool, if it's all right, like, you know, if if y'all that got that type of friendship and you know you can catch them off guard with certain things, mm. then do that. You know okay. what I'm saying? Okay. I know you got to go, but I really just want to give you your flowers. Thank you you're so much. You're doing amazing things. You. Really happy that you're here. Just let us know real briefly, like, what can we expect for you next? Hopefully them tracks that yeah, you've been teasing. Of course. But, like, anything else? Are you getting into acting? Like, are yeah. you looking to take on any Um, moves? I want to thank you first and foremost. I know we've been here a little long, but that just shows the research you did, and I appreciate that. You thank know you. what I'm saying? That shows that you got this, like, you... I. Thank you, because I hate the ones that be on some other stuff. But uh, oh, thank you for that. Yeah, for sure. We can have them. <laughs> I, I really do appreciate the interviews where they actually know the person that's sitting across from them and not just like, OK, so I did that and none of that. Like, yeah, the this was question. very, very fun to me. And I thank you. But um, thank you. the next thing I'm going to be doing is the music. You know, I, I will be releasing one one of them tracks. We got our past midnight uh -huh. um, music video. So. That's going to be coming out. Got a couple things we're doing. So, yeah. Okay. Stay well, we're tuned. definitely looking forward to it. Thank you again for coming. Shout out your socials so that the people know where to find All you. All right. Um, Y'all can follow me at Armand.Warren everywhere. Armand Warren um, on game.